bike for five minutes. But what you all guys are doing is truly beyond uh, belief that uh, you could have taken all your money and retired in LA or you know Santa Monica or wherever. But in, in, you choose to be in rural India and do this. And all I want to say is I may not be in the youth category anymore, but you have my hundred percent support whenever, whatever time you need me to come to the village, to teach the villagers dancing, whatever needs to be done. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm really, really delighted to be uh, part of this initiative, uh, which I believe has the potential uh, to be a change, uh, to be a change agent in this country and, uh, and its growth story. Uh, I've also had the good fortune of knowing Bonnie Sir and the camera. Oh, I believe are such wonderful people that they will definitely make a definite, permanent, and irreversible change through this initiative. So thank you so much for everything that you guys do. It really provides all of us with sanity and good courage. What I especially like about what you just said is that you are narrowing it down to uh, rural empowerment. And within rural empowerment, you are narrowing it down further to just four, which are very key, water, sanitation, and education, uh, and agriculture. Uh, to, to, to also cap it to five years, I think is a brilliant idea. Because you are kind of giving an, an ultimatum even to the village. They also have a target that we have to do what we have to do by Shramata by you know, contributing on their own, trying to bring about that change. So they have a cap for five years, and I think that is brilliant, and I, I'm really looking forward to the success of this, that you are able to empower a village and move on to the next. So I think that's brilliant.